doctors stop telling women that they need to come in for a pelvic exam for birth control. Patients, women, and those who identify as female, stay tuned because I'm going to empower you with information. Hey everyone, today I've got a YouTube that's both for doctors and healthcare providers and for patients. So as all good things, I got the inspiration for this YouTube based on a TikTok that I put up a few days ago. And it was all about things that you don't know about going to the GYN. And the one that I was talking about was that you don't need a pelvic exam if you don't want one, meaning that consent is vital. And if you come in for an exam and you feel like you're just not comfortable or you can't handle it that day, you can totally say, I am not okay with a pelvic exam right now. Maybe, you know, I'll come back another time or just having that discussion. Not that big a deal. You know, I, of course we can always say no, but here's the comments that I got. And I started to notice a theme immediately. What popped up is everybody saying, well, how am I going to get my birth control? So here's some of the comments, but I'm not going to get a refill on birth control. Otherwise my GYN forced me into a pelvic exam to get birth control. There were no concerns. She just said, if I don't do it, I won't get birth control because, and I was 17. That makes me really sad. Okay, here's one. I wish my current office would get this through their head. They're refusing to give me my birth control without one, and there's not another one around. <sighs> okay, so that's just a few comments, but I got a bunch more, as you can see here. So clearly this is a trend, this is a thing, and I'm kind of confused and also a little pissed off, so let's talk about it. Why am I confused? Because the American College of OBGYN has clearly said that you do not need a pelvic exam in order to get birth control. Like it's right here. This is from their website. Hello? This is not secret information. Now, of course, yes, you need to have a pelvic exam if you're, you know, having an IUD or you need to get fitted for a diaphragm, but you don't need one if you're starting on other stuff like the pill or depo or the patch or um, the vaginal ring. Like you just don't. And so here's the thing. So why is this happening? Well, I think it's a holdover to older times and older generations when we did PAPS every single year and that was part of your annual exam. You now don't need a pap smear or cervical cancer screening every year and that's a whole other topic, but I'll always, as always, references and resources in the show notes and all the stuff I'm discussing today are in the show notes because I want you to be empowered and you can print them out and bring them to your doctor's office. Anyway, um, so maybe it's a holdover from that. I'm gonna be a little cynical here. I honestly think that a lot of healthcare providers require a pelvic exam for your birth control prescription because they want you to come into the office and they use that as a way to get you in. There, I said it. I said it, go ahead, arrest me. Um, but that's a really crappy reason to do it, right? So this thing that you want to do that you're requiring your patients to do, a pelvic exam, like there should be something associated with it that if you see this, you're going to give them birth control, but if you see this, you're not. And I'm here to tell you that that's not the case. <laughs> I don't want you to take away that pelvic exams are not important. They absolutely are, but they're not important when it comes to starting birth control. Because what are the things that we as doctors or healthcare providers are thinking about when we're thinking about prescribing birth control? We're thinking about the risks or the reasons that you might not be able to take birth control. And here's a secret. I can figure those out without putting a speculum in your vagina. We shouldn't be just handing out birth control willy nilly. Of course, we should be doing some screening things. And you can do that without an exam. So the important things that we want to assess for, and oh my goodness, here's a checklist. You can go through these things without having to come into the doctor's office. So we should be screening to see if you're a smoker or if you've had a previous history of blood clots or if you have migraines with aura and some other things. And that's because if you've got some of these things, then certain kinds of birth control may not be for you. As you can see, nothing here says, you know, if you, if, if you find this on pelvic exam, then you can't give birth control. And what bothers me is that none of this is groundbreaking, like new in the past six months. Like these are on lots of websites, lots of recommendations that every healthcare provider can access and should absolutely be up to date on. So if your doctor says you need to come in and I can't give you birth control and then you don't come in, what happens? Then you accidentally get pregnant. Now you've got somebody who wasn't planning a pregnancy and wasn't prepared for it. How does that benefit anybody? right? It just doesn't. Let's talk about birth control in general. Quite frankly, I believe it should be over the counter. I don't think you should need a prescription to get your birth control pills. And I'm also not going rogue here. The American College of OBGYN also agrees with this. In fact, in some states, pharmacists can give it after doing the kind of screening that I just discussed with you. They can give it without needing to do a pelvic exam or a prescription. As of 2020, there were 13 states and the District of Columbia that had laws in place where pharmacists could provide birth control. 
And being in Oregon, I would like to do a little boo boo that Oregon is the leader in terms of having the most pharmacists that give out birth control. I'm very excited about that. Now, you might be saying, well, then why do I even need to see my OBGYN at all if you're telling me I don't need cervical cancer screening every year, I don't need to be seen for birth control? Like, that's a waste of my time. I'm not saying that. That's not the purpose of this video. We do a lot of stuff at an annual exam, and you might not even think of it or realize it, but we're checking for high blood pressure, we're asking about lifestyle things like smoking, drug use, alcohol use, we're screening for domestic violence, we're screening for pain and issues with sex, we're doing a breast exam to screen for breast cancer. Of course, we're talking about birth control too, and we're talking not only about if you don't want to get pregnant, but also if you have future fertility plans. We do so much more than just pap smears and cervical cancer screening and just birth control screening. So in no way, shape or form am I saying you never need the OBGYN. Of course, I think we're pretty important. Doctors, if this has been your practice, you have held birth control hostage until your patients come in, you're not doing your patients any favors. You are not practicing within current recommended guidelines and I would love to see you change your practice because when you do that, you're helping your patients, you're practicing within the most current evidence-based medicine and you're giving women and people who want birth control that autonomy back into their lives that they deserve. Women and patients who are looking for birth control and you're being turned down by your doctor, well, feel free to send them the link to this YouTube. I think it's a great one and there's tons of references and exactly what you need to show them is in the show notes. Feel free to print that out and send that to them. Alternatively, there's other ways to get birth control, such as online companies. And yes, they're legit like Pill Club and Nurks and um, Simple Health, they're all great ones and they go through this screening beforehand so they're not just giving everybody birth control. So there's lots of ways to get your birth control that doesn't require an office visit. That said, pelvic exams, pap smears, those things are important, but they shouldn't be the barrier between you and your contraception. Okay, if that blew your mind, um, or you feel like there's people who could benefit from that, please share this YouTube. Please go ahead and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I have a ton more information there. And go ahead and like, follow, subscribe, turn on the bell to get notifications when I post more YouTubes. I hope this was helpful. Drop your questions in the comments, and let's... Um, Let's revolutionize our way of thinking and let's let people have their birth control. All right, have a good day, everybody. Stay safe.